Hello, it's always a great pleasure to have you with us in this YouTube channel. In this tutorial, we are going to be learning how to create a Jira ticket. Now, sometimes when you request for some service, uh, you are told not to contact them directly, but to create a Jira ticket. How now do you create a Jira ticket? So definitely you'll need the Jira account and you get that at atlassian.com forward slash software forward slash Jira and you get to this account where you click on get it free and then down here you can now choose the Jira the Jira management here and then you click on next and uh, you'll then be required to put your work email down here with Jira ticket you're able to connect to the development you can also deliver great experience across teams and you are able to collaborate within one team and respond to changes and keep services up and running. And with these tickets, you are able to resolve incidents quickly. So you now put your email here and then you click on agree and then you'll verify your email. So I'll go back to my email here. You notice we have our message from Atlassian. I click on that and then I'll verify my email. Then you need to enter your full name here and create your password. And then you click on sign up. Then you do the verification process here. And then after that, it will ask you to put your site name. So you simply put the site name and then you wait for it to confirm if that exists. And it gives you the blue, the green line. That's okay. You click on agree. And then you can fill these details. What type of team do you work for? Is it whatever the team is? What is your role? You keep on selecting this, your main task, whatever it is. You keep on clicking and click. You keep on selecting and clicking on next. Then you'll select the template for your first project. I'll select the first one and then click on next. Then you'll give the name here. Then you can select all these or skip. It will now bring you to this site where now you can create your ticket. So to do that, you'll click on the ITSM sample space here. So notice now we have our interface here. And I don't have to take this tour, so I'll close that. So notice we have our interface here where we have queues. We have the service requests made. We have the incidents. We have the problems, we have the changes that have been made, and we have post incidents reviews. So, and all these are open tickets. You notice we have so many open tickets here. And for the tickets, you have the key, the summary, who reported it, who it was assigned to, and the status. You notice we have them that are pending, open, work in progress, and them that are waiting review that have already possibly been solved. So how now do we create a Jira ticket? It's easy. We are now at ITSM sample space. And uh, if it's service request, I'll click on service requests. But in this case, I want to just, I'll come at the top here, click on create. Remember to be under ITSM sample space, click on create. And then here you'll choose the project where you create the issue here with the project. Is it the ITSM sample space? IT, then you can select any here. I want to select for my project that is from Josh project. And then I'll select the issue type here. So there's a drop down menu here that gives you task system. Is it an incident, a problem, a change, post incident report, or whatever it is, just like we saw them here. So I want to report an incident or a problem. I just select that. Let me report a problem. So I'll select on that and then I'll scroll down. It automatically fits my field here. Then I can give the summary here. What is the problem? My problem is, so my problem here, I'll type my problem here and maybe put it as dealing with installation, dealing with installation, dealing with installation of plugins. So you basically give the summary here, what it is, what you have done and what you have not been able to do. And then down here, you can, you can type at to mention a teammate and notify them about the issue. For instance, if I have teammates here, I'll type at, and then I mention the name. Maybe I want this to be addressed by JoshNet. Uh, you notice if I type at and, and type the first letters, I get this one. 
I, I click on that. Now this means the person has been mentioned. Then if I need to create another issue, I can click on create another issue. But then down here, I can select the services affected here. You notice here, the demo service maybe is the one affected. Then investigation reason, I can select the reason here. Maybe is it a high impact incident? Is it a recurring incident? Is it an unroutine incident? Whatever it is, let me assume it's a recurring incident. I'll click on recurring incident. Then I can attach files here. You simply click on browse or you can drag and drop the files here. Maybe you have a photo of the images that are being shown or maybe you've taken a photo of something that you want to upload there so that your issue, possibly the person attending to it can have details in advance. You upload them there. Then in terms of urgency, you can select either a critical, high, medium, or low. If it's a very serious issue, you select critical. If with that degree of intensity, the lowest you go is low. Let me select low. And then for the impact, you can uh, decide is it extensive, significant, moderate, or minor. Maybe this is just a minor issue. I click on that. And then the root cause here, I can type it there. What caused this? Maybe I installed new things. Or maybe I updated my software, work around, whatever it is. And then let me just type there trial. Then I can select now the organization here. And then and then I can select the organization here. And now, if now I'm happy with the issue I've raised from Josh, the issue about dealing with installation plugins, I click on create. So you notice here, you've created Josh one issue. Then I can click on view the issue. But you notice we have our issues here. And so now, if I can now come to my open tickets, I can scroll down and look at issues that have been raised. So under reporter, to get it easily, I can search with the reporter. I am JoshNet. So down here, you notice there's an issue I had reported. Login, poor Josh. And then we have the one that we have just done dealing with installation here. So this is the issue that I have raised dealing with installation, JoshNet production, currently awaiting support. And down here, if I click on that drop down menu, you notice we have all this. I can change that. Maybe someone is already attending to it. I can uh, write it now in progress. Can click on now it's in progress. I give it time to update. It's in progress. Who is it assigned to? It's an assigned. Now uh, let me, this one, let's assume it was assigned to that customer. And then, and now if I comment here, the comment here will be visible to my customers. Maybe uh, someone is on the way to come and solve it out. Then I just click in progress. So now the customer is able to see. Now you notice our dealing with installation plugin here is now in progress. So if now I'm satisfied with that, I can go to the next item. If for instance, you created a request and you feel you want to delete it, you can select on the request here, the way I've done it here, and then you come at the top and then you can either link an issue to another one. You can make a comment, you can assign, you can do the transition, you can approve. But in this case, I wanted to show you how to delete. You can also delete. You can just click on delete. It gives you this warning here about deleting and you click on OK. So you notice one issue is being deleted permanently. So the issue has been successfully deleted. So other things that you can also do with the ticket you've created, let's create or uh, let's click on our dealing with the installation of plugins ticket. If I click on that now, I can now view all the details about it here. I can create subtasks, maybe this process, the resolution will need some tasks. I can create subtasks here. I can link this issue maybe to another issue. I can add a form. And then on this side, you notice I can also see the actions here. If I click on actions, I can create automations and I can see the templates that are available. So down here, you notice I'm able to see all the activity, like the comment we made on the way, it's here. And that is a comment. I can look at the history. Currently, we have not done much in the history. We just created this and then we change the status and then we change the assignee. So you can see the changes here. Then we can look at approvals at the end down here. In this case, we have not had any approvals. We can see all activities. If you want all the activities in terms of comments, history, login, and all that, you notice we can see all the activity with that. And our issue 
and we are able to attend to the issue of the ticket so quickly and effectively. So, so basically, that is how you create a Jira ticket. I hope this has been helpful. Kindly like this video, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel.